So while I'm here, and since I pulled those out again, I'll go get this piece of metal that I forgot to put back up in there the other day. Somebody wrote a letter to me and said, in our country, we call that the, and he had a, I think it was a Finnish word for it. And he said, what that means is forget piece. We call it the forget piece. The piece, because it's the piece that everybody always forgets to put back in the motor. <laughs> well, I did forget it, but I'm going to put it in there now. And that way, it'll be in there, and I won't forget. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> got them up in there. Cranked it. Still leaking, and I can see it, too. On this one, it was literally spurting out at the bottom. And this other one here is leaking. And I think what happens, for one thing I can tell, they don't seem like they fit in there real good. I don't think they've kind of seated. Uh, and I'm also wondering if, if it's possible to get them in there without crimping them up. Because you have to kind of to get them into place and I'm I'm wondering if in the process of doing that it's just see that one there feels like it's not even it feels like it's not even in the hole I mean these ones are more so that one is all wiggly Feels like that spring never did unspring, like it stopped. Let me, uh, I wonder if I can get a point of a screwdriver up into that. Doesn't it look that way to y'all? See, I can see space on these ones. These ones here, not so much. I wonder if this tube didn't expand right or something. Well, if these don't work, if I can't make them work, I got those other ones, those plastic ones I can try. I've also got some expandable ones. Now, if these two were working and these back two weren't, see, that's, that's completely wiggly right there. This one here seems like it's in place, but that last one doesn't seem Just see it wobbling around. I wonder if I can pull that out without pulling the rest of them out. Yeah, this is completely. I don't get it. I don't get why that ain't working. But it really does feel like, even this one now feels fairly snug. But it really does feel like that one there just didn't expand back or something like, almost like it's stuck in like it pushed together and didn't unstick huh I'm gonna work on this some more I don't know if y'all can hear me talking while the car is running but I'll talk a little bit anyway I wound up with uh, this is a plastic tube with a spring you can, you can collapse it a little bit more than you can these. Look, these two are leaking now. I got that one in there without a problem. This one is expandable. Let me cut this off. I'm going to have to fix these two now. Alright, what I was saying was... I put two plastic ones in there and no I didn't what did I do oh I was putting two plastic ones in there and I broke 
the seals on one of them as I was putting them in, I could tell. And I think part of the problem with these stainless steel ones is that it's so hard to get them in there and it's very difficult to get them in place without breaking those seals. This back one, this blue one, it's expandable. It has a, it's threaded. You can set it into place and then tighten this thread up on it and uh, you can lock it once you get it to the right place with that one. This one, because these expand more, I was able to get it up in there without collapsing it. Now these front two are leaking, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take them out. And I'm gonna try to get another plastic one. They're pretty hard to work with, but because they collapse further, you can get them all up in there before they spring out, and if you're lucky, get them in place. I might try some different gaskets too. Uh, I've got some red gaskets that look like they're different material in here. It might be a little tougher. I'll cut this off while I do that.